88 to 91 mile an hour from the low three quarter delivery. And so his first pitch to Luke Hill. First pitch swinging and he skies it to right. Under it is Sean Rimmer and he misplays it. And it bounces over the wall for a leadoff ground rule double. At, uh, at Ole Miss. One two pitch and that's a bouncer up the first baseline. Ben Ziegler Namoa will do it himself. For 2025 according to D1 baseball. But he loses Sukata. Uh, sort of uh, took that bait and they had a conversation next thing you know Ole Miss is coming out here and coming out to the islands first time in history and there's a look at coach Bianco and he's actually going to walk out to communicate something with the umpire and I think he's arguing what the count is count on the scoreboard reads three and two it's actually two and two so they correct that yeah 200 friends and family along for the ride and that's a called strike three and their final series against UCSB home run that gave Hawaii the victory as that one squirts away from the catcher Smithwick the throw to second I wanted to give either a fact or a question for people to answer an arduous rebuilding effort uh, but the support has been incredible over the last several months as that one is hit into the stratosphere and finally vacuumed up in 2022 as that first pitch is hit into right and that one bounces in front of Sean Rimmer and rounding first and looking to leg it out is Leger and he does. Really good facilities. An awesome stadium which is going to undergo more improvements. Hard to improve that right there though as Ethan Groff goes yard over the left field wall. Two run shot. They had 83 of those in 2023. There's number one here in 2024. Well, look where the pitch is. You know, not saying that would, he got that ball down. I don't think this would have, would have happened, but man, we're talking about. And that's gonna be ball four. 25 and 29 campaign a year ago following up the national championship year in 2022 who smacked the two run homer over left that one hit hard up the box gets through into center rounding third looking to score is Udermark and he will score as that throw it is taken by the shortstop Iquez a name brand program in front of a sellout crowd roller to shortstop Iquez up with it and that was some hot sauce to first for out number three. Islander games at, at the Aloha Stadium. Clippers, Lakers game, we had a good conversation. And found myself here in Hawaii a couple weeks later. Kind of a way to maybe needle them a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. oh, here's a former Georgia star as this one is shot in the right field. Back goes Hughes at the wall. Off the wall it goes. Ziegler Namor, who is tagging at second, will round third. He will look to score the throw to the plate. And he is safe. You see what happened when I come in the booth? Let's go. We see a review, but Ziggler no more adamant that he got in past the tag. Meanwhile, Austin Machado took that one for a ride off the right field wall. Oh, that was an awfully close yeah. play. Looked like the throw actually got there in time. The question becomes, did Ziggler Namoa get his hand in under the tag of Campbell Smithwick? That's been the question. You call stands. Yeah. Usually I'm always traveling, you know, obviously out here hanging out with y'all, but once the playoffs come, I'm locked in for sure. Runner breaking from second. That was Miura. He gets to third and corners. Rimmer, who struck out his first time up, swings at that one. Back to the pitcher. Quinn tried to barehand it. Can't hang on. Runner is safe at home. The throw gets by first base. And everybody is safe. Let's go. That scored Ziegler Namoa. They reviewed that play at the plate, and they held it up as that one hit down the left field line. The run scores from third. And they will hold up the back runner, Rimmer, at third. An RBI double for Kyson Donahue. And we are tied at three. But really good breaking pitches, good sliders. And that one squirts away from Smithwick. And now the runner's getting caught up between third and home. And Rimmer will be tagged out. 
at the plate. 3 2 pitch coming. Swung on and missed strike three. But he did get the scoring started by bringing Ziggler Namoa. He got cooking. And takes that one off the leg. Big pitch coming up here. Two runners on, 2 2 count. Two outs, swung on and missed. They also went 12 and 3 at home in Big West play. As that one hits Smithwick. So we've seen a couple of guys get plunked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're even seeing in some instances. Here it comes. Hit into right. Quant coming over. Makes the squeeze for out number three. Only redhead Hawaiian. <laughs> <that he's... laughs> yes. First pitch here as we start off the eighth inning to Ethan Groff. And, well, he makes a connection with the barrel again. Being be held hey. at first, though. And that one hits Smithwick again. Second straight time that he's been plunked. Called strike three. Get him, Clark. And this one hit the other way into left. And Ben Ziegler, not more, is aboard to start things off. Miura squaring up, lays it down. It's a good one. Smithwick up with it, throws up the line and pulls the newly inserted second baseman, Braden Randall, off the bag. And again, he squares up, and this time he lays it down. It stays fair. The throw across the diamond in time to get Calderon. Andrew Fisher able to gun him down every time out on the field. Right. He, he says there's no reason why he shouldn't be a bench coach in the bigs as this one gets away from Smithwick. And the go-ahead run is plated. Big swing and a miss. And a huge strikeout there for Braden Jones. So they decide to skip past one Donahue. Water, get it out there and put it down. 2-2 two -two pitch, that one misses for ball three, taking second. About to score the run from third. Here's the 3-2. Ball four, bases loaded. So Jordan walks. Oh, what's the call here? Threw him out of the game. Got to be for something unsportsmanlike. Got to be. Or, or taunting or something. We don't know. They just tossed Jordan Donahue. Had an emphatic response to drawing ball four, and Rich Hill cannot believe it. And a little bit of talking in the direction of that old Miss dugout. Yep. The bat toss, yeah. perhaps an extra punctuation. That's not good. That's not good. After the walk was drawn by Jordan Donahue, you see looking in the direction of the old Miss dugout, a couple of words, a little bat toss there, and the umpire sending him. And the look of surprise there. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Does it again. When does it cross the strike zone? Right? That one hit back up the box. Diving stop there by Meow. The throw not going to get there, but you got to love the effort. And that one misses upstairs for ball four. But he takes that one off the backside. And now. And hope for the best. And if you're the Rebels, hey, give me a pitch I can hit. This one hit in the air to center. Tagging at third will be Ross. Miura able to make the squeeze. Ross is going to tag and score, and we're tied at four. Top of the ninth inning. Now a chance to take the lead as Hughes waits on it. It's a roller to second. Meow throws to first, and that ends the inning. And that one hit him. Oh, one pitch. Again, turning to bunt is Meow. It's a good one up the line. The throw to first in time. One, two pitch. Miura hits it into center, but right on a line to Randall, who steps on the bag to double off Duarte. To give the advantage to Campbell Smithwick. Misses inside for ball four. 2-2 two -two pitch here to Udemark. Hits it way up into the sky. Coming on is Quant along the foul line. Makes the squeeze for out number three. Yeah, sounded like fireworks. fireworks off in the yeah, distance. And how yeah. about the timing there? 
It was perfect. What's that for anyway? It might be Friday night. They have oh, some yeah, of these fireworks yeah, shows. Yeah. Right. Here's the 3-1. Did he go? Sometimes we're talking a hundred grand or to put one of those on. First pitch sends it into the air into shallow right. Right fielder calls off the second baseman. It's Hughes who makes the grab. Vermilion Catholic in Louisiana. 2-2 pitch hit hard to the shortstop. And Kyson Donahue couldn't handle it. Eight super regional appearances. As Veloz loses Groff, as more fireworks erupt. <laughs> I tell you, UH marketing really taking things to a new level. So we were in the northern whack of the Arizonas on the southern. Oh, that one gloved by Veloz. Nice job as he tapped it to himself. Central Oahu Regional Park, but uh, we'll be playing some of its own games and series here at Les when the Rainbows are out of town. That one popped up the telephone booth and falling to the turf, but still making the catch. And he gets plunked. That one ripped back up the middle, but right there in the perfect spot is Meow, shaded over. 21 local kids? Yeah, it has been a priority for Rich Hill. As that one misses upstairs, Ziegler Namoa lets out a roar. And that one blasted into right. Back goes Hughes looking up, chases it down and makes the backhanded catch. He made a he made a he made a, a release move, he made a, a baseball move, which now makes it legal, so it's an out. Right now it's an out because he made he made a move and he didn't drop the ball for one thing. But did these guys cross? I don't think we I don't know if we have it. Uh, unless they're reviewing to see whether Ziegler Namoa had properly tagged up, but okay, so the batter is out as Miura flew out to right. They're sending Ziegler Namoa back to first. Why? He can make it to second base. Then they'd have to appeal second base. And Ole Miss did appeal to first. Still in that moment, they did. Without touched the first time. base bag without, without calling time. And Mike Bianco, I think he has a beef here, coach. It does seem... So look, they step on the first base bag just to be sure. But why? The only reason they would do that is if he didn't tag up. On the books here first. Swung on and missed, strike three, two down in the inning. 1-1 one, one pitch to Quan. It's a high bouncer to second. Randall snares it and goes the short route. <laughs> Hunter Gotchall is the pitcher for Hawaii. Here's a bouncer that gets through into center for a leadoff base knock for Ross. Had they won, they'd be going to the Olympics. How's that? That's amazing. Yeah. Meanwhile, ball four. Nobody out. Top of the 13th. That one hit hard past the diving meow. Rounding third and looking to score is Ross. He will trot into home plate. And the Rebels jump in front. 2-2 Two -two pitch. And that's a chopper to the right side. Meow goes down and gets it. He's going to come home with it. And a great throw and tag to get the lead runner. Oh, and that one hits him. Ooh. Ooh. 2 2 pitch. And that one hit up the first baseline. Coming home with it is Ziegler Namor. They get the force at the plate. And now two down. Called. Strike three. With an RBI double and a pair of walks. This is a ground ball to second. Randall scoops it. Another fastball, strike three. Here's the one-two. Swung on and missed, strike three. And this game is over. Ole Miss wins it in 13 innings in roughly five hours.